I'm Sugimoto Ko from Exmotion in Japan. Today, I'll give a presentation on how to develop software of the electric vehicles with high quality and efficiency. And the key term is OTA. First of all, please let me introduce our company and myself. Our company, Xmotion, was established 13 years ago as a consulting firm, especially for embed software development. Now, our company works with almost all Japanese automotive manufacturers. For example, Toyota, Subaru, Honda, Nissan, and so on. And name of Xmotion is a newly coined word from emotion plus X, which means maximum or multiplex. I'm Sugimoto Ko, a senior expert of Xmotion. I have experience in Embit software industry for more than 35 years. And I am an expert on embedded software, object modeling, and software process. So, let's start the presentation. It is the agenda for this presentation. Here, I will clarify the problem of OTA and propose software solution to them. As you know today, every automotive manufacturer is focusing on the development of electric vehicles. And in such cars, almost all of components are controlled by their embedded software. This means the importance of automobile embedded software is increasing with very high speed. Let's think about Tesla's cars, for example. There is no doubt they have many advanced features on them, and they are considered software-defined vehicles because any modification to existing features can be made with software updates. I have heard an interesting story about Tesla's car. Surprisingly, they could add new features of the driving recorders on the market using software updates in only one night. Like this, a lot of values can be added into the software of automobiles even after their deliveries. This trend is called software-defined or software-first. The technology of updating software or firmware remotely is called OTA. OTA is abbreviation for over the air. Without OTA, software is updated in dedicated tools at only service stations or factories. On the other hand, with OTA, software is delivered from a cloud server anytime and anywhere wirelessly. And OTA can make new features, bug fixes, and specification changes to existing software as it evolves. In this way, OTA gives great advantage for not only developers but also customers. OTA is an essential capability for software-defined vehicles nowadays. But there are some difficulties in OTA. Are you ready for the OTA era? Without OTA, for example, 201A product get into a maintenance phase after the Golden Master software release. Then, most of the time, a copy of source code tree is additionally created in order to start to develop 2019 products. And the same things occurs in 2019 products and 2020 products. But 
Let's think about what will happen with OTA. 201A products will not get into a maintenance phase after the Golden Master software release. And 201A products are required to be updated through OTA. Whenever the software of subsequent product is newly released. This means a software developer must target previously released product as well all the time. And when the modification of 2019 products are fed back to the previously released product, their source code may not be always the same. Now you can see OTA causes manpower overflow and quality deterioration very easily if you leave this situation as it is. I listed up common problems of OTA here. From a development perspective, complicated specs, missing of traceability, and obsolete documents. From a management perspective, lack of inter-project management, underestimation of volume, and personal change of experts. From a source code perspective, frequent updates, complex structures, and many code clones. From a defect perspective, degrading functionality, conflicts on modification, and surfacing of potential defects. All together cause problem of OTA. In this presentation, I'd like to propose software solutions, especially for the item in red. Our solution for the OTA problems is a combination of software product line and abstract development. Complex structures, many code clone, degrading functionality, and conflicts on modification are resolved by software product line. And complicated specs and frequent updates are resolved mainly by abstract development. First, let me explain our software product line. In derivative development, the changes for 2021 products are fed back to 201A products 2019 product and 2020 product. In contrast to derivative development, in software product line development, all products are assembled from a common set of core sets. Software product line is defined as all products are configured from a common set of core sets in a prescribed way. Here, what is the difference between software product line and other software reuse methods? Software product line only calls for core set to be created when reuse is predicted in one or more products. Software product line reduces waste of development cost because redundancy of source code modification is eliminated. Next. Let me explain about abstracted development. If a system intensive core set is specific for all products, probably its variation and life cycle will be numerous and very short. Therefore, a software system is required to be separated into several conceptual core sets according to its concerns. Like this, the variation and life cycle of each core set will be much more manageable than those of the system intensive core sets. And they are supposed to be developed at the level of abstraction of their subject matters. Here, what is abstraction? Abstraction allows Software developer to separate a framework that is 
categorical concepts related to computing problems from specific instances which implement details. It is preferable the abstracted core sets are translated into specific core sets when necessary. We call a combination of two software solutions, Software Product Line 2.0. And this is its conceptual diagram. It looks almost the same as typical style of Software Product Line, since all products are configured from specific core sets. But it is unique that specific core sets also are built from abstracted core set. Thus, Software Product Line 2.0 is supposed to increase ease of reuse and to lower the cost of software development. It is the summary of this presentation. Both Software Product Line and abstracted development have already been proven technologies for many projects in embedded industry area. Software Product Line 2.0 is supposed to be one of effective and reliable software solutions for the OTA era of the EV. For more detail, please visit ET and IoT 2021 exhibition in coming November. We are looking forward to seeing you, preferably in Japan. Thank you for watching my presentation. See you soon. Bye.